Ghana opens biggest hospital in West Africa. Is it no surprise to see that Africans fly to Europe, America and Asia to seek medical treatment? Hospitals are intended to provide health care for sick or injured people, and in order to do so, they must have the most up-to-date medical equipment and qualified medical personnel on hand. Only a few hospitals in Ghana, like other African countries, however, can boast of a world-class system that meets Ghanaians' health needs. There are several beautiful and well-equipped hospitals in Ghana, but to top it all is the University of Ghana Medical Center Lagoon, located in Accra. This is one of the biggest hospitals in West Africa. Constructed in two phases, the second phase has been completed and the hospital stands out to be one of the best and most equipped in West Africa. The president of Ghana opened this beautiful and one of the most biggest hospital in West Africa. The second phase elevates the center's status to that of a quaternary care institution, as it will now offer highly specialized, experimental and unusual diagnostics and surgical procedures. The second phase of the medical center, built with a $217 million Israeli bank grant, includes 42 specialist and sub-specialist clinics, a cardiothoracic surgery center, and a cardiac catheterization lab. It also has an eight-unit apartment for critical staff, a biohazard waste treatment building, a waste dumpster shed, an oncology ward, neurosurgery with a neurology ward, and an intensive care unit, an assisted reproductive technology center, private wards, a pediatric surgery unit, an MRE, and dental service units. Akufo Addo stated that his administration is dedicated to providing Ghanaians and residents with adequate health infrastructure and world-class health care. He emphasized that the UGMC's mainstay was healthcare delivery and that the facility played a critical role in managing complicated referrals from other hospitals in the country. The president stated that the center also accommodated walk-in patients seeking specialist or consultant attention and provided health services such as trauma and orthopedics, urology, ear, nose and throat care, cardiology and dermatology, accident and emergency services, and pain management, among others. In addition, the center has a medical training and simulation center that will serve as a national training facility for health professionals across the country. With the completion of the second phase, he claimed that the facility's cutting-edge medical simulation and training center is the largest in West Africa. This training center is a nationally recognized multidisciplinary academic center dedicated to achieving excellence in medical education through the use of high quality and innovative computer-based simulations. The UGMC's 1,000-bed clinical services section is dedicated to promoting positive health outcomes through innovative, customer-centered, cost-effective, and high-quality processes. From a humble beginning of free general service OPD clinics, we now run nearly 40 specialty and subspecialty level clinics. Dr. Osi informed the government that the center needed more infrastructure to be able to provide more subspecialized services. He stated that the center required a helipad to assist us in the evacuation of trauma patients in order to increase medical tourism. The center also required the establishment of a radiotherapy center for cancer treatment, an infectious disease center, specialist and other critical staff housing, and official vehicles for the center. The University of Ghana Medical Center, UGMC, is a quaternary hospital offering quality medical services to patients and acting also as a hub of research and training in all spheres of the health sector. The role of non-clinical staff in fulfilling this mandate cannot be overemphasized. To power our ambitious quest to maintain a cutting-edge facility are smart, well-qualified and mission-minded leaders running these departments. The University of Ghana Medical Center, West Africa's largest hospital with ultra-modern machines, 
has begun full-scale operations following the completion of the second phase of the project and subsequent handover to the facility's management. We certainly hope that the hospital will not only serve Ghanaian and West Africans, but the entire African continent. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. Please share this video and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more great and informative content.